What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making her debut on the channel tonight. Tonight. We have Avril Lavigne. Yes, indeed. How about that? Avril Lavigne making her debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Vintage Vibes Music, and this is actually one of Vintage's three prioritized requests for the month of July for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Vintage. Hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Vintage Vibes Music wanted to see me react to this. It is Avril Lavigne with its song called Losing Grip. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always the possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, hold it. I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Avril Lavigne, okay? And the video has 68 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Avril Lavigne, Losing Grip, official video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Yeah, there's that word official. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, look, you know what I'm gonna say, so I'm not gonna say it. All I'm gonna say is we're gonna have to just wait and see what happens and hope for the best. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this! Okay, I was about to say, no sound. Are you aware of what you make me feel, baby? Right now I feel invisible to you, like I'm not real. Didn't you feel me lock my arms around you? Why'd you turn away? Rude. Here's what Six. I have to say. Seven. I was left to cry. when I decided why should I care five seven you were there when I five, was scared I was so alone four okay Right, we're in A. Are we in, wait, um, 
mean scattered or dropped? Hold on. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> okay, so the riff itself, the main riff, you got the A, that's your root, right? Uh, I'll play I'll play it down where it should be. So A to the six, which would be the F, to the G, to the F G A. Okay, and now you go into the, the chorus. There's a little bit of a change up there. A to the five, which would be the E. To the six, to the seven, to the five again. Seven, root, to the five, to the six, to the four, the D. Okay, I mean, let's see if I'm right about that. Turn around. That's what I was missing. I was missing the seven as the turnaround. Using the seven to turn around. Set up for the transition back to the main phrase again. Utilizing the seven like that, it's it's not a bad way to go. Um especially in A. You hear this happen a lot in A. Utilizing that G as the turnaround. I don't know why that is, but it you hear that happen in a lot of songs that are in A specifically. You know, it's 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 very strange how that works. You know, it's 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 very strange how that works out. It, it, it's very sonically, very pleasing to the ear. It's almost, I think it has to do with the anticipation of getting back to the root. Um, and one of the best ways to do that is ascending, uh, utilizing the, when you're ascending, utilizing the seven. Now, if you're descending, utilizing the third, the minor third. So, we're on, let's say we're A, right? That would make a little more sense, I think, rather than because we're we're going down to this going down to this four, which is the D. It almost feels like it would make more sense to go to the three as a setup. Well, I'm missing that three. They they stay on the D. They they stay there on that four. And they just stay there on the D. I almost feel like you want to go to that three. I, I feel like that might have made a little more sense, but I mean, it, it works. What they're doing is fine. It sounds just fine. I just say, I think it could be improved upon. That's all. Um, kind of a missed opportunity, if you ask me. But anyway, let's let's keep going here. Let's finish this out, and we'll get to the review.
mean, it, it's a very, very cut and dry song. There really is not a whole lot to think about here. If I'm being honest, it's it's very straight ahead. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Avril Lavigne with Losing Grip. This was a request from Vintage Vibes Music. And this was actually one of Vintage's three prioritized requests for the month of July for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Vintage. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, Song's pretty straight ahead. There really is not a lot to talk about. So this might be a short review. I guess we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Let's start off with the score first. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 6.6. .6. Yeah, 6.6. .6. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first. 6.6. .6. What does that mean? Well, a 6.6 .6 would translate to a pretty good scale rating, but I think it's a pretty good song. Uh, it would get three out of five stars and a B letter grade, not a C, not a D, a B as in boy. So yeah, 6.6, .6, pretty good skill rating, three out of five stars and a B letter grade. Now, how did I come up with this score? <laughs> so glad you asked. Okay, we've talked about the word predictable before in the on the channel many, many times. And would I say the song is predictable? In some places, yes, the verse. The verse is absolutely predictable. Uh, you can see everything coming from a mile away with that verse from, from a chordal progression standpoint. Um, the section where we, we came out of the, uh, the bridge and we went into that breakdown where everything came down, right? It was just acoustic guitar and vocals. You saw that coming. Even more predictable was how they came out of it and when they were going to come out of it. I even, I was like, I saw that coming a mile away. Uh, this song did have a lot of predictable parts. Now, is that a bad thing? Here's the thing. No, it's not. I love how people have this negative connotation with the word predictable when it comes to songs. What's wrong with that? They found a formula that works for them. It, 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 it's a formula that many other bands have utilized and had success with. So what's wrong with that? What's wrong with other bands and other artists taking what others have had success with, success with, and applying it to their own craft? I don't see. A, I don't, honestly, I don't have a problem with it. I don't see a problem with it. I don't understand why people have this hang-up on. Oh, the song's predictable. You're right. It is predictable. It's predictably gonna work out really well, and it's predictable that a lot of people are gonna enjoy the song. I don't see the issue. I don't see the problem. But some people do. Eh, they need to get over themselves. Um, predictable, yes. Pleasing to the ear, yes. I mean, er everything they did sounded just fine when it came to the verse, the breakdown, the, the bridge. Everything sounded fine. My only question marks were, were on the chorus. Now, I say question marks not in a bad way. I'm just curious what they were thinking. Going from the root, down to the five when on the verses they were going down to the six i, I don't know why they decided to go down to the five instead but it, it worked it absolutely worked. i'm not i'm not criticizing it i'm just i'm curious to know i wonder what they were thinking uh one to the five using the seven as a turnaround to the six to the five again up to the seven boom and, and then back up to the root again now that makes perfect sense okay Utilizing the seven, especially that flat seven, uh, as a turnaround point, it, it makes perfect sense since you're going upwards. Now, here's the thing on the second half of the chorus one down to the five, to the seven to the six, dropping down to the four, really going down now. We're on a downward slope. Why didn't we turn around using the minor third to get back to the root again? And if not the minor third, why didn't we utilize the turnaround of the, of the minor seventh like we have everywhere else? Instead, we stayed on the four, no turnaround, no transition, just from four, right back to the root again for the downbeat of one. A little abrupt, a little jarring, but it, it still works. It does work. I just think there would have been 
it would have been smoother if they had the turnaround, like they've used everywhere else in the song, in particular that seven. Could they have used the seven again? Yeah, it would have worked. Uh, I think since they were going down to the four, I think four to the three to the one would have made a little more sense. Might have been more pleasing to the year too, but they didn't have any turnaround at all. Interesting. It's, it's not bad. It, it, I'm, not, I'm not criticizing, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just curious to know what they were thinking when they decided to make those choices. I mean, it sounded good. Um, <clears throat> guitar tone sounded fine. Uh, bass sounded fine. Drums sounded fine. Vocals. Um, I've heard a couple songs from Avril Lavigne, and it, this is very prototypical of her style of, of vocalization. Um, am I going to sit here and go, I was mind blown by, by what she was singing? No. No, I'm not, because I've heard other vocalists sing far better, far more impressively. But what she was doing, how she was singing, it fit the context of the song just fine. You know, could you imagine Flora Jansen singing this song? It would not fit. It absolutely would not fit. And I'm sorry, uh, Nightwish fans and Flora Jansen fans, but the, let's be honest here. Could you imagine Flora Jansen singing this song? Do you, do you think for one second it would really work? No. Could she sing it? Yes. Would it fit? No. And never in a million years would it fit. No, this is definitely an Avril Lavigne song, without question. It, it's it's right up her alley. It, it's very prototypical of their style of music. So yeah, I mean, it's there's nothing wrong with it. I, I, I didn't hear anything bad. I didn't hear anything wrong. I'm just not gonna sit here and blow things out of proportion and go, oh my God, it's the most amazing song I've ever heard in my life. No, 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 it's not. But it is a pretty good song. It, it's a solid song. I will absolutely give it that. So yeah, a 6.6, .6, I feel good with that score and that's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got a 6.6, .6, pretty good scale rating, three out of five stars, and a B letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope y'all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.